to determine the equivalent resistance of two resistors when they are connected in series. The property of a conductor which opposes the flow of current through it is called its resistance. The resistance of a conductor is directly proportional to length and inversely proportional to its area of cross section. That is, R is proportional to 1 upon A and R is proportional to L. Therefore, R is proportional to L upon A. Thus, R is equal to rho L upon A, where rho is the resistivity of material. The SI unit of resistance is ohm. The SI unit of resistivity is ohm meter. Ma'am, how can we determine the equivalent resistance of two resistors when they are connected in series? Two resistors are said to be connected in series if they both are connected end to end. In this type of connection, same current flows through all the resistors. In this case, the total resistance always increases because it is the sum of individual resistances and is given by Rs is equal to R1 plus R2. If n number of resistors are connected, then the above equation can be written as Rs is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus up to plus Rn. Let's do an experiment to determine the equivalent resistance of two resistors when they are connected in series. Our aim here is to determine the equivalent resistance of two resistors when they are connected in series. The materials required are a voltmeter, an ammeter, a rheostat, two resistors of known resistances, a plug key, a sandpaper, connecting wires, a battery eliminator. Procedure Note the least count and range of the given apparatus voltmeter and ammeter. Clean the terminals of the connecting wires as well as the given ammeter and voltmeter with the help of a sandpaper. Connect the different components with the help of connecting wires as shown in the circuit diagram. Connect the terminals of voltmeter and ammeter correctly. Plug in the key and let the current flow in the circuit. Avoid touching any wire when there is a supply of current. Set the rheostat for minimum value in the ammeter. With the help of sliding contact of rheostat, increase the value of current in the ammeter and note down the corresponding value of potential difference in the voltmeter. The ammeter measures the value of current I and voltmeter measures the potential difference V. Change the position of sliding contact in rheostat and note down at least 5 readings of ammeter and voltmeter in the observation table. Remove the key from the plug for avoiding unnecessary heating of wires when not in use. Observations Least count LC is equal to range R divided by Number of divisions N, range of the ammeter, is equal to X ampere. Range of the voltmeter is equal to X volt. Least count of the ammeter is equal to X ampere. Least count of the voltmeter is equal to X volt. Resistance of resistor R1 is equal to X ohm. Resistance of resistor R2 is equal to x ohm number of observations ammeter readings i ampere voltmeter readings v volt rs is equal to v upon i mean value r s ohm result there is a close relation between theoretical and experimental values of equivalent resistance hence the relation Rs is equal to R1 plus R2 for series combination is verified.
the equivalent resistance rs is equal to x ohm precautions before connecting the wires the ends should be cleaned with sandpaper to remove the dust particles and other insulating particles all the connections should be tight and properly connected according to the circuit diagram the rheostat used should be of low resistance the ammeter should always be connected in series and voltmeter in parallel to the combination of resistors thick copper connecting wires should be used in the circuit the plug key should be removed between the two observations to avoid excess heating of the wires the current should not be allowed to flow for a long time the eye should be exactly in line while taking the readings from ammeter and voltmeter thank you ma'am you have given a great knowledge through this experiment